In this video, I have an important decision to make. A women near miss at the end of a race and something you've never seen before in a set of Corsa Competizione. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new championship. Now I did stream this the other weekend, so if you're looking for the full stream, check that in the description. However, this is the RCI 6 Hours Championship, it's an esports championship with money on offer and a lot of fast names in there. And I got invited by FFS Racing to take part with them with Van Omen and Michael. I don't know how to pronounce his surname. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to kick off here. We started P38 way down the order. We did miss qualifying because we we're actually practicing for this. We did practice very hard. And we're here at Kyle Army for round one. Round two coming very soon at Imola. Anyway, heading towards turn one, we go. We see a Ferrari out in the... Well, out in Narnia, essentially. And we see lots of contact happening here. Then a car's going off here, there, and everywhere. And then this huge pile up here, which Van Omen manages to avoid most of the contact there, thankfully. But our sister car was thoroughly involved in that. They got absolutely punted. Uh, but fortunately for us, you know, we went from P38 and we're going to head to, I don't know yet, until the timing all sorts itself out there. As it says, we're in P1 right now, but uh, that was obviously changed as we go through here. We'll find out where we end up in just a second as we pass another car there. So we're in P31, so not too bad, is it, on the opening lap here? As we look around the outside of a familiar face there, Lorenc in the Aston Martin as we leave that corner. So we are in the pink car, the pink FS racing car, uh, the Ferrari. And as we head through that, I it said 458 then. Uh, it's not the 458, it's the 488. We get the full thing here in a set of course. So competizione! Now, if you do enjoy these VOD highlights from these races, so do give it a like, okay? That will tell me you do like these. I'm going to test the water with these as we continue to do them. And there's lots more ACC content to come, actually, uh, which I'll talk about shortly as we go into the left then. And through we go. Still behind Martin Larenk then as we head towards the line. And that timing puts us P31, which is where we said earlier on. So not doing too bad at all. I'd say lots of ACT content to come. I'm going to take part in the LFM Pro Series. I really want to take part in SRO Esports, but I'm not sure whether I'll be able to or not. Uh, you've got to be really, really fast to get into that. And I think I'm like a tenth or two off, unfortunately. But even so, I'm going to do my very best to try and get up to speed here. As we go down the inside of March in the rank then with Van Omen. And we've got Car51 Shea then looking down the inside as well as we head towards Sunset. This corner is a pain in the backside to do this corner properly in the Ferrari. You see Shea just gets it done there. So we drop a position as we head in towards this left hander then. And in this long line of cars. Look at that line of cars. This is what I love about these big eSports championships. 49 cars on circuit. I love big grids. I think they're awesome. And we have one massive grid right here at Kyle Army. It's good to see. It really is. Uh, and it's something I really, really, really do enjoy. So what's the name of the game with this championship as we go into the left-hander? Well, we have four sets of tyres for six hours of racing. Which does mean we have to double stint some tyres. Now, what's going to happen in this race is Van Omen's going to do a double stint on one set of tyres. And so is Michael as well. So I get... The nice sort of clean sets at the end, which is very nice of them to give me that. Oh, somebody sent it there. That was car 46. Now, car 46 is uh, the one we're going to have a battle with all race long as Dimitrov looked down the end. Oh, slight tap there into Cheetah. Somebody else off to the walls, that left hand side. Then Audi goes through the middle as well. Trying to keep this position then as we go through the left hand. That car 46 is the one we're really going to have the race with in this one as that Audi R8. It's very quick in a straight line. It's super duper quick in a straight line. We will have a look at the lap one incident, by the way, at the very end of this race, or video, should I say, including some of the bloopers, because we have a couple of bloopers in there as we go in to the left-hander then, and we're still on the outside of that Audi then, keeping the place, keeping P31 then, as we head into the left-hander. And we need to get past car 46. We start looking towards Martin Larenk in this is a P29. But hey, we're doing okay so far. We're doing okay. P31. We started P38. Plenty to go in this race as we go through the right-hander. Now, of course, with all the VODs from streams where we take highlights of the best races, uh, there's going to be parts of it where you hear my actual commentary uh, as we see another car go off. Let's jump to that now. The else is dead. Uh, okay. <laughs> P1 by the end of white lap 10. 
as you heard there. P1 by the end of lap 10. Because we're literally, people were just dying everywhere in this race. You know, it's a six hour race. We're nine minutes in. We're up to P27 now. That's 11 places gained here by Van Omen. As Van Omen looked on the inside of car 46. And we've also caught up to the pack in the distance. Car 42 and error 404 not found. The rank, of course, as we head into the breaking zone. Somebody else off there in the distance. It's going to be another place gained then. Through the left hand, there we go. That's another place gained here as we continue on. So into P25 now with that all settled. Right behind car 42 as we continue on through there. Now, in terms of race pace with the team, about, I don't know, one or two temps off. And these guys are obviously the very best. They've played ACC for much longer than I have. I'm, I'm actually quite early in the ACC amount of played. Here. So I'm doing okay, I would say, in the grand scheme. But I do need to get a bit quicker, though. Temp for two to find. Uh, which is more improved my driving style. And, um, you know, a couple of people have said, I just lift a bit too much. I need to, you know, break, be on throttle. As I've taught in the past myself when I've done GT Academy. We jump to George now. This is an R car. Now, George was the one involved in lap one incident. And George was absolutely flying here. Down the inside of Van Omen then. We jump back to Van Omen. And, uh, yeah, George is just going to go here. Van Omen just giving that up very nicely indeed. Oh, we're jumping a lot of people here. Oh, we're jumping a lot of people. But as you hear there, we're jumping a lot of people in the pits. This is the second stint for Van Omen then. And look, we even jumped Larenk there in the car. So we're actually up to P14 at the moment. Now, obviously changing tyres takes a little bit longer, especially if they change drives as well. So, you know, this is where strategy comes into play, doing those double sets. Do you do it early? Do you do it late? When do you do it? Um, you know, race temps are going to affect it. Race position is going to affect it. Race damage will affect it as well. Uh, so you see Van Omen keeps that P14. But we've got Southall here going towards Van Omen then. So they did change tyres. We've got Zolobov behind... <laughs> Zolobov uh, behind there in P16. They changed uh, tyres. Dal King in P17. They changed tyres as well. So obviously it's all about for Van Omen now. Can they uh, can he hold him up just that little bit? You know, you don't want to fight it too much. The Southall sends it down the inside here. And uh, Zolobov will also look at, look at that. Zolobov just absolutely sent that. My word, he absolutely sent it. It worked out very nicely for Zolobov. So Van Oma's just going to settle in behind then. Uh, so obviously losing positions for now. We'll have to see how we get on for the rest of the race. Because obviously, you know, we're doing very well at the moment. We started P38. Van Oma was up to P14 there for a moment there with a the strategy. Everything to play for here. Everything to play for indeed. Uh, it's 100... By the way, I didn't even say this. It was 150 euros to enter, I think it was. Don't quote me on that. I'll see I could confirm that as we uh, see Dalkin go down the inside then. And then we're back with Lorenk. Lorenk was on the same strategy as us, doing that second double stint with the tyres uh, as we advance further on. And George. George repaired his damage. 16 seconds of damage. George was also on a second set of tyres. I have no idea how George was doing this. George was absolutely flying on the second... Sorry, he was on the second stint of the same set of tyres. But George was flying, absolutely flying. Uh, unbelievable pace by George there. You see Van Omen down to P18 now. But of course, that's because of the tyres. Car 334 up ahead. The Audi R8 was really struggling on that new set of tyres. They'd obviously gone for a very aggressive setup, which was just not working out at all well for them in this second second stint for those same set of tyres here as we continue on through then and we're actually looking to actually gain places now which is good isn't it in this race it is really good so we've got silver lining behind we recognize that name of course from the rci championships we did in the past as uh, silver lining looking down the inside there on a clean set of tyres a fresh set of tyres in car 69 nice um, as we continue on through here and they've just got the nose in there they're going to send it down that left hand side then I don't know it come in. Let's them go. And unfortunately for us, uh, Lorenk's going to follow on through there. The Aston's working together here and actually get up into, well, Lorenk into P19. We drop down to P20, but we are ahead of car 46 for now then as we continue on through. And Van Omen's just going to run a little bit wide here. But this is kind of critical, okay? Because car 46, I say, we're going to have to fight the entire race with this car. And we need to stay ahead of them as we go through that left-hander. Continue on out of there then. And uh, here we go. So car 46 looking for a way to get by us here. As we go through the left-hander. Van Omen defends towards that right-hand side. In towards the braking zone we go. And they're looking around the outside. Very hard move to do. Are they going to do it? Not quite. Van Omen keeps it. Beautiful move there from Van Omen. We're actually nearly two hours into this race now at this point. So we have jumped a fair bit in this. Uh, though it did have a bit of a lull in the middle of it. As we see, car 46 trying to run the outside again. Look at that. My word, that was a good effort, but not quite going to work there. The last slight tap between the two cars. 
as we continue on out there. Some people who pit early there coming out of the pits. But here we go with Van Omen defending. Defending for his life here. There's another car behind them. So this is the point where you're like, who has changed tyres? Who hasn't? Nobody knows because at the end of this stint, of course, the people who haven't changed tyres are really going to be struggling like the car. 33 4 up ahead. Congratil. Congratil. Uh, or however you say that. I don't know why I'm saying that accent either. But even so, we get through that corner. We survive for now. And uh, Van Omen's going to look down the inside of car 334. And there's a slight tap there. Now, we are going to review that at the very end of the race as well. Because all is not what it seems, in my opinion. Uh, we did now analyze it as well in the uh, the race live. Uh, we did have a look at the replay to have a look. Oh, hello. Uh, car 335 there. Now, we got uh, Michael in the car, of course. Uh, and you can see his surname down there. Kundakiaglu. I have no idea. I can't say it. I, I am sorry. Uh, but we've got car 46 coming out the pits and with Bauer in the car. So they've changed drivers here. And Bauer goes towards that right hand side as we look down the inside. Oh, it gets very tight. Oh, very tight indeed. Oh, it looks like they've got that position with a fresh set of tires. They'll be able to increase that gap then, uh, car 46, as we go through that left hand. They're going to advance further on in the race then. Um, with under three hours to go now. So over halfway through the race. Uh, and we've got Santaro behind us. And uh, they're going very quickly here. 41-4. So they're definitely on a fresh set of tyres for sure here. Uh, we've got the leader just in the distance. But that Lamborghini going to go down the inside. Then no point fighting that when they're on a fresh set of tyres. We're on different strategies at this moment in time. As they go on through then. And oh, oh I say we're not going to fight it. But we're looking for a fight there. No, we're back out of it now. As we continue on then a bit later on in the race. So critically here, car 46 up ahead. Obviously, this is towards the end of the second stint then. We've got Bauer in the distance. Uh, we also have car 43 behind. Now, they're going to play a significant factor. But we go up the inside of car 46. There's a slight tap there. We tried to follow the leader. Obviously, car 46 is not going to be too happy with that. But uh, fortunately, we didn't get a penalty for that. So we continue on racing. I'd say that was the most aggressive move we did the entire race in the grand scheme of it. But hey... It jumped to my turn in the car. Two hours five to go in the car. What can we do? We're finally in the car in this video. And I'm going to try my very best here. So in terms of lap times, what you're looking for in this temperature was around the low 41s. 41, 1, 41, 2, 41, 3 is where we need to be in terms of race pace. So we'll see how we go as we head out the pits. And currently in P28, obviously, we have all the pit stops and all the strategies to start playing out. As we get towards the end, we'll start to see that. So we advance two, or just under two hours to go then. We've been slowly catching up to Sundstrom. Uh, I've also got Castorino here coming out the pits then. One of the leaders as we head into this breaking zone then. And uh, going to tuck in behind them. A bit frustrating initially this because obviously they've got to get warmed up. My tyres are fresh as a daisy there. Perfect pressures as well as we go in to this left-hander. So it's actually going to cost us a little bit of time here. So, you know, we're in the 41.7s there. In fact, this will go down to a 40, 42 at some points there. Just being held up a little bit. But they started to increase that. We catch up to Sundstrom, who we've raced with many times. So shout out to you uh, as we continue on. See, they put their indicator on. They put their indicator on. That tells me they're going in the pit. So I'm happy about that. And it's like, excellent. Thank you. Finally, they can get out of the way. And finally, I can start putting in some clean laps. Oh, so I thought... I could put in some clean laps. But look who's coming out. I get clean air for a straight. That's right. Car 43 is coming out the pits. And I'm just like, oh, no. Come on. I didn't want this. Now, this is a car that becomes very frustrating, actually. And if some of you have already seen the live stream, you already know what's going to happen. So we're in P21 at the moment as we go through that left-hander. And uh, essentially, I want them to get out of the way really quickly. So I'll flash my lights. You know, they've got to warm up their tyres as well. I realise this. But you're a back marker. I'd like you to get out of the way so I can continue on my pace. Try and catch up to cars in the distance. Uh, as we continue on through here, I'm like, okay, I'll go down here. Like, whoa. Oh, my defending for your weapon. As you heard, I called them a weapon because I'm like, why are you defending? There's no need to defend there. Like, literally, just let me go and continue on the racing. The way I see blue flags, okay is that if a car is faster than you, let's just say I am car 43 at this moment in time, I would have given that up because the car behind is currently faster than me, okay? Currently faster than me. But we're going to be stuck behind them here, and it's costing us so much time. Look at that, we're in the 42s now, as I said earlier. We're on a fresh set of tyres. We should be nowhere near the 42s, but we're stuck behind them here. And at this point, they really should just move out of the way, let me go, and then carry on behind me. It's all very well and good, but, you know, later on, it may, the tables may turn, and I may let them go. 
But this point of time, I'm just like, it's very frustrating because I'm suffering from dirty air. I'm having to drive slower and be a bit more cautious because I don't want to rear-end them off the track, do I? I really, really don't. Anyway, we advance further on here. They started to pick up a little bit of pace uh, and started to increase that gap slowly but surely. You notice on the left-hand side, finally our times do. But obviously, the first couple of laps has cost us a second or two in time. It's really frustrating as we see somebody go off there. That's the Audi R8. That's car 335. Uh, we saw them earlier on. We're going to go around the outside of them, but that cost me a bit more time again. And this whole stint just felt like everyone was costing me time. It really did. I didn't get any fresh laps in at all here as we have now a leader coming behind me as we head towards turn one so this is what you should do in my opinion as the leader slowly called up to me one of the leaders here and i'm just gonna leave that gap open on the inside it's not gonna cost me too much time there look at that it cost me what four attempts half a second but that's nothing major here they are the faster car they're in more an important battle than i'm in as we head towards this right hander then through the right we go so this was the car we saw actually off at turn one earlier on behind me there color grasso we go through the right then and in we go as we see car 43 off once again so it's going to cost me a bit more time here as we go in to the left hander so i had to slow up a little bit more there again another two attempts just i know they're involved in their own battles but you've got to remember that if i pass the car behind you in my opinion you've just got to you know find out the way cost you half a second it's nothing major at the moment they've cost me like three seconds plus uh, they did pull away initially and look we're having to defend here to make sure we keep this position um so they initially pulled away with those slightly fresher tires and then we started to reel them in again when that little bit of you know the definite fresh rubber started to wear off anyway we're gonna come in the pits here p18 so looking quite good obviously we don't know the strategy of everybody else and we're actually putting 99 liters of well 99 liters in the white box now that actually worries my teammate a bit later on in the stint because he believes that we don't have enough fuel to get to the end so what i'm actually going to have to do at the end of all of this is do a bit of fuel saving but look who is in front of us again it's car 43 oh my word they came out the pits and i'm like oh my god are you having a laugh here you're out in front of me again um so i'm like okay let me just go for it here. let me go for it let me go for it let me go for it and then once again they're on the inside. I'm like, oh my word. Are you having a giggle here, man? Come on. This is ridiculous. But fortunately for me this time, they see that we are quicker and they're actually going to indicate. Now, it, indicators can mean two things on a racetrack. It either means overtake me on the indicated side or I'm going to go to the indicated side. But uh, it's never really clear in the grand scheme of it. But they let us go. So thank you for that. That's much better. And then they can continue having their little race. Um, and yeah, we continue having ours. Right, so we're now about to be lapped by P4. However, we're actually going to be involved in a little bit of an incident. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus! Help! I need new pants! Someone died at Cheetah and we avoided it, but Rodriguez just T-boned him at full speed. <laughs> Thing is, he started moving. I had no idea where he was going. Oh my god. It's that same Audi that just caused carnage, I think. Yes, it was the same Audi again that has caused carnage. Now, in this stint, I was far more comfortable, by the way. Even with fuel saving, I could be in the mid-41s. Um, and I, I did get a 41.2 in there as well. So I was more happy in this stint. I definitely had the pace compared to the previous, um, the previous stint, which is nice. But I had a bit more clean air in this one so I could fight. But the clean air disappeared very quickly because as you can see up ahead, we're caught up to P3 very quickly. They're on their second stint on the same set of tyres here. So they're going much, much slower than we are, of course. Um, and now we need to figure out what we're going to do. We've got P3 ahead of us, P4 behind us. And car 46 is behind us as well. Now, we came out the pit through 10 seconds with the traffic, with the near miss, etc. That's now down to four and a half seconds. And that gap is only going to get closer while we're stuck behind P3 here. And we have to be very careful, obviously. They're in a podium place. They're about to have a fight with P4 as well. So I really need to get out of this situation very quickly because I'm in the middle of a situation that you don't want to be in. You know, you've got a leader behind who's attacking the leader ahead. The leader ahead is slower than you and the car behind. You're sort of stuck in the middle here. You're absolutely stuck in the middle. So this is where you have to use just a little bit of noggin here. Just your use, your use your common sense. You're not involved in this battle. So what I'm going to do is because it's a more important battle, I'm going to let them go and have a fight. 
and I'll pull in behind, okay? And that is what I'm going to do here. Uh, let Bischoff go for now and then see what happens after this, okay? Now, it looks like Toll did the same thing behind me. You can see the Porsche going for that move down the inside then. They are side by side as we continue on through there. I'm going to head towards Cheetah. There's still a little bit of contact there between the two as we go through. There's another little bit of contact. The Aston Martin goes off. We carry on through. So at this point in time, I'm like, excellent. Now, I know that Porsche is also on the second stint on the same set of tyres because they weren't catch me very quickly behind at all. It was just because the P3 at the time was going slower. Now look who's behind me. It's George. George is behind me. So the same situation happened again. And it's cost me two seconds already to car 46. But at this point in time, I know George is on a fresh set of tyres because the stream told me. Um, so coming through here, I could see what's happening. So I just got out of the way. And George called me a beautiful man for this. So uh, thank you, George. I love you too. Um, but yeah, we'll let George go for it then. And then we'll see what happens afterwards. But obviously that brings car 46 into the mix. Because we're all being slowed up now by car 977, the P3 car of Bischoff. Now, Bischoff is a very co uh, accomplished driver, of course. It's just the second stint on those tyres. So, once again, these tyres not being used to full effect here. My um, my cleaner tyres than the guys up ahead. Just because we're stuck in the middle of these awkward battles with the leaders. Just, yeah, we're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And if you remember early on in the race, we lost seconds to bat markers, etc. And we wouldn't be in this situation if we didn't lose that time. And that's what becomes so frustrating as we continue on through. We're actually up on our time here, looking for a low, low, low 41. Um, but you see George up ahead. So we're going to follow this through. And obviously, car 46 right behind. So we're going to start to have our duplicate battles here. Duplicate battles as we continue on through towards left hander. George right behind Bischoff. Then as we go into this left hander. And we're holding pace for now. We're holding pace. We're doing very well. Obviously, nine minutes to go in the race. We just have to hold on to this. And hopefully, we can have a good outcome. Now, we do know of one car ahead of us who's got the stint timers completely wrong. So, we know we should overtake one car ahead of us, okay? So, technically, we're going to be P19 at the time, okay? P19. We know they've made a mistake. We just have to make sure we keep at a decent pace here. And hopefully, stay ahead of car 46 with Levesque in the car. Gonna go through this left hander and head towards the breaking zone then. George was looking down the inside. Bischoff said no. George looking around the outside of the Porsche then as we go in to this right hander. And George still not passed. So again, obviously, this is holding us up a little bit because we don't want to get too close to this battle up ahead. We don't want to be involved in an incident like Bischoff and uh, the Aston had earlier on as we head in to that breaking zone there. Oh, <laughs> the Ferrari behind got so, so, so close as we continue on out then and on to one of the final laps then here. Eight minutes and 25 seconds to go. We were flat out again now. I did fuel saving for the majority of the stint. Uh, just short shifting a little bit here, there and everywhere and in towards the breaking zone. We go George looking around the outside of the Porsche. What's going to happen here? The Porsche keeps it for now, but once again, we're sort of being held up again. They're just there. So we are having to be a bit cautious here in towards the left. We go. Remember, we've got dirty air here as well. Oh, we just hit that bump slightly wrong. That's wrong for us. Okay, here we go. Here is the race. The end of the race for us. Levesque looking down the inside. We said, ah, 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 not down there, you know. So going into sunset, then they're going to try around the outside. I don't know if they know me or not. But I am a clean racer. You know this. I give them space on that inside then. Heading towards this left-hander. We've got George making the move on Bischoff. We're around the outside of Levesque. And we keep the position. What a defense. I love that move. I loved it. And honestly, the pressure really was on now. You will have... If you watch the stream live, you'll never have seen me concentrating so much at this moment in time. Until a little bit later on. Okay, a little bit later on. As we go into the right-hander then. George is past Bischoff. We're right behind Bischoff. So then we have the same question that we had earlier on. What do we do now with a leader who's going slower than us? But Bischoff wasn't going as slow as the Aston Martin. It wasn't as bad of a, a, an issue here. Levesque flashing away behind, of course, because Levesque wanted to get by here. Um, but we are going to continue on towards the next lap where we see a car coming out of the pits. And it's all on. Oh, crap. This is, this is, this is for position. Yeah, position. Jesus. Nice. Good Come job, on. good job, good job. Let's go. Awesome job, Tishy. Got a 3-2 spoil. Yeah, great work. Oh. That's fantastic. Alright, check it back. Oh. How much fuel do you have? Uh, 2 litres. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he wouldn't have made the extra lap. Oh, there was an extra lap though. Oh Did my god. Oh, that was tense. Oh my god, my <laughs> wrist is killing me. <laughs> Honestly, I can't tell you how tense that was. That was so tense. The pressure was on because I'm, I'm helping another team who, you know, they are all faster drivers than me. I'm trying to get quicker and quicker and quicker with FFS racing as the sister car just punts me there. We finished ahead of the sister car as well, but they were involved in the big incident earlier on. But oh my word, I love this race. It was awesome. You know, Samir's only a few seconds ahead of us there in 939. So I say a few, it's like 20 seconds. But even so, with all the complications we had, it was just there. It was so tense. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to look at the replay then of the incident at turn one. Now, the, the reason for this is actually because of the Audis being so strong at accelerating here. So they're four wide up ahead. We've got one, two, one here. Going to absolutely send it into this corner. In fact, send it a bit too hard. They push the Audi into George. Everybody goes everywhere there. A lot of people lose time, especially George there. George did amazing to get back up to P3. Uh, going through here, they're going to get a slight tap from a Bentley and then another slight tap from a Bentley. So a little bit calmer there. Now, we're going to go into some self-analysis first from the VOD for this next one. And I repair, right? I, yes. uh, oh my god, the turn one. Yeah, they all just killed each other. I reckon Owen was on the right line there, and then they turned in a bit more. It's so close. But yes, in my opinion, with this incident with Van Omen, it, 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 to me, look, they, they were alongside there, quarter panel versus a quarter panel. Then obviously it changed slightly, but Van Omen made his intentions very clear, which I believe is why we didn't get a penalty. Uh, I don't know if they reported it or not, but I don't believe this would have been a penalty anyway. Van Omen didn't change his line there. The Audi came across a bit tighter, and unfortunately for them, Van Omen was there, so that's the reason for the slight tap. That's my view of it anyway. Uh, and just to leave you here now with a funny thing, actually. You've never seen this before in ACC. Here you go. Great, I'm locking up every hairpin now. Oh. oh. What the hell is happening, huh? A what? He just clipped through you. What? What? That, what? Yeah. what? <laughs> I have never seen that before. As I said, I've never seen that before. Have you seen that before? A very interesting situation for our sister car there. Uh, with Mike. Uh, but that is going to be it for this video. As I say, if you did like it, do give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest content ACC-wise. I'm going to try and bring more and more and more to the table, a bit more with LFM as well. Uh, two videos there to check out. My logo's there if you want to subscribe. I say, please do. It helps the channel out massively and it allows the content to grow. Uh, but I say, that is it for me. Thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you in another video. I'll live stream again very soon.